Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Coin Help You YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. Today we're going to answer a few questions. So you think you found a rare coin or a valuable coin? What do you do next? What do you do when you think you found a coin that might be worth some money? I'm going to show you in this video. So stay tuned. So you found this coin and you think it's worth something. What you do with that coin is based on what you think this coin is. Is it a rare double die? Is it just a mint error? It looks kind of messed up. Is it maybe a high grade example? All three of those elicit different responses as far as what you can do with your coin. But the first thing you have to do is to make sure that your coin is actually a mint error or variety or a high grade coin. So to do that, as far as high grades concerned, you want to look at maybe a photo grade on a website. Now, photo grades are not enough. They're 2D, but you also can go to Heritage Sold Auctions, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can look at images, you can click on them, and you can actually uh, zoom in and take a look at the marks on the coin and compare it to your coin, put your coin up to the screen. That's one way. Then, what you want to do is after you think that it still might be a high grade coin, then you want to go to PCGS, you want to go to their, uh, or NGC, go to their price guides, and what grade do you think that coin is? What is the value? After you do that, then you want to know how much it's going to cost to send it off. And that's easy to do too because PCGS and NGC, they have their fee schedules. And also, you need to add your shipping. So that way you know if that coin is actually worth sending off. Two, if you think you have an error of variety, go to error-reference.com. That's for your mint error. You want to look through their mint errors, use their search feature, and try to find your error in, and see if it's on that page. If it's not on that page, more likely it's probably not the mint error you think it is. But if you can't seem to find it there, Go to Heritage Coin Auctions yet again. They have sold mint errors for decades off their website. Get on there, look through. If you got something in your description, you think you might kind of know what it is, even though you've been to error-reference.com, try to type it in. Type in something. But go to there, they have a mint error category. You know, type in whether you think it's a double strike or you know whatever it might be, and look through their pictures and try to identify it. More than likely though, if you're not finding it there, it's just not a mint error, okay? It's a damaged coin. You know, I have some on my website, I have images of damaged coins as well. In my Facebook group, you can join my Facebook group and post your images. But damaged coins, they're just, in themselves, they're not worth messing with. Now, there's a lot of made up coins, made up errors as well. We know what mint errors can happen at the mint. Every once in a while, something comes out that's a little bit different but most major errors that are worth even messing with have been cataloged and classified and identified. And there are examples online with images of every one of them. You know, I know that mint errors are kind of unique. I'm not saying there can never be another new one discovered, but if you have something dramatic, more than likely it's been found at one time or another in some degree of fashion of the kind that you think you might have. Now, the other thing is is that, let's say a variety for instance, well, you need to go to Konica, Variety Vista. If it's a Lincoln cent, go to coppercoins.com. You have also Wexler's Double Dies, and he has listings. And what you're looking for, you want to know exactly what variety it is. If it's even worth messing with. Most Double Dies are not worth much of a premium. There are some that are worth a lot of money, but most of them aren't. RPMs, there's some worth a little bit of money in some of the denominate or some denominations. Some of them are not. Most of them are not in the Lincoln sense. So you have to take those considerations in, in when you're looking up your coin and when you're trying to put a lot of time in it. Uh, another thing is is that I've I told you before, uh, Strike It Rich with Pocket Change is a, a good resource. The Cherry Pickers Volume One and Two is a good resource. These are all books that you need to buy. And Alan Herbert, also the official price guide to mint errors or minting varieties. 
that's one book you need to buy as well. You can look through there. There's not as many images as I like, but there's so much descriptions on everything that you can find. And then plus error-reference.com. You know, I also have an app as well. And my app has mint errors that you can kind of look through and reference and see some descriptions and some values as well. Uh, you can find it on Google Play. So what we want to do now is I want to go through a process of what I just explained to you. First thing I want to address, I see a lot of comments that you, that the people post comments on my videos and other videos that they have a 1999 or a 1966 or a 1971 Lincoln cent and they put their WhatsApp number, you know, call me, you know, I want to sell. Look, if you're one of them, this is what this is for you okay you go to ebay and you type in whatever date you have of us coin let's say it's a 1966 lincoln cent type that in and then you're going to go down here on the left hand side type in sold and you want to look through all of these listings these sold listings and you want to look for your coin you want to look for a coin that looks something like yours. You have one right here. It sold for a dollar with dollar fifty shipping. You have uh, several SMS coins that are already graded. See, there's, they only sold for this much because it was graded. It doesn't mean it's worth five dollars raw or two dollars even. This is just the grade it is in that condition. Here's one that's all stomped in. It's got a little tiny clip on it. They sold for a dollar seventy five plus two ninety nine shipping. So it's actually a sixty six with a mint error. So as you can see, the cost of shipping from another country to this country, a coin like this, it's just not even worth messing with. And this is an awful nice looking coin here. And we can take a look at it really close. This is a nice BU example of a 1966. The image is a little bit blurry when we go in closer. But the point of it is, is it only sold for $1.45 each is what they're selling for and the shipping is 95 cents. So it's not worth looking through or messing with, put your roll together and collect them maybe. It's not even hardly worth putting a whole roll together because you can't get that much out of a whole roll. That's just someone wanting it for a hole in their collection. Let's do another one. A lot of people say I've got a 1992. And what you want in the 1992, oh, I want to back up for a second. The 1966 does have a double die that's worth a little bit. But you have to go to coppercoins.com or Kunica via De Vista and identify the double die for that. So here we have 1992. Now there is a 1992 that is close AM. Okay, but you also gotta look at the designer initials. You gotta look out, make sure it's not die wear. I have a reference on my website, you can look that up, but it has to be that. Just a regular 1992 Lincoln cent. This is saying it's a double die verse, which I can tell you right now. I'm gonna look at the picture here. And it's not a double die verse. It's got plating issues. If somebody bought this coin and uh, they they bought they bought one that uh, they shouldn't have bought, and that's a perfect example of what the problem is in this hobby. People don't know what they're doing and they need to learn. You know, here's one that's graded 68. So it takes a a coin to be sent off a 1992D to be sent off, and it has to grade mint state 68, and basically put almost forty dollars in this coin, thirty some dollars anyway, with shipping and everything with your fees and your um, all of your uh, membership fees, that kind of thing, just so that they can sell for $46.99 on eBay. So in other words, here's a bunch of them, 90, 91, 92, 97, 98, all of them sold together. All of them, in, it looks like they're all, looks like kind of proofs maybe, and they sold for $21.99 for all of them. And these were all proofs, pulled out of proof sets. So they're not even regular business strikes here. But this is, the eBay is a wealth of knowledge for common date coins that you can type in and go down here to the completed and sold items and look up your coin here on their website and find out how much it's worth. You know, and then let's say you find one on here that goes for a lot of money, okay? Let's say that you find one and it's really valuable in the grade that you think it is. Come up here to PCGS, go to price guide, and I'll go to the Lincoln Cent Modern Coins. And let's say it's a, let's scroll all the way down to a 69D. 
it's got a grade 67 to be worth sending off to them at $250. It's very difficult to get that grade. So you can always jump over to Heritage and you can look up a you know, 1968D and type in Mint State 67. And then you can actually find out what they sold for. Go to the view past sale prices right here. And you, here you go. I'll just, it will sign in real fast. It's free to do this. It don't cost you anything to sign in to Heritage, but they want you to sign in so that you know you can look at the values. And it is a really good, quick reference to give you an idea. Okay, here's a couple of them: uh, two hundred eighty-eight dollars, two hundred seventy-six dollars. So if you think you have a sixty-eight D that's worth sending off for grading, and you want to put all the money in it, you can go ahead and do that. But a raw one, no dealer is going to be interested in it. I'm not interested in it. I have rolls of modern stuff like this that I've went through them and most of them are grade 60 to 63, maybe a 64 every once in a while, but most rolls just are kind of beat up coins. You know, and then as far as the errors are concerned, you can do the same here and like I said there's different categories. I want to eliminate that search for now and they have all rare coins and you can go down through all the categories on Heritage. And if you think you've got a really rare error, you can go here and then hit the search. And you can scroll through, there's 14,875 sold auctions on Heritage under the errors. So we're looking at verse structs, I mean we're looking at, night, also we're looking through struck through a verse, you can see how much it costs, but it was also a 66 coin and it's a 55D. You got to look at also the grade of these errors and why they're worth so much. It's the same thing with this, you got an off center 75%. Um, it was a silver off center, which you don't see very often. Here's a on a defective planchet. You know, it sold for $132. It's AU55. It's a 1967. Some dates are more rare with errors than others. And that's just some of the things that you have to consider when you're looking through these. You know, you want the values of your errors, but you really have to pay attention to the date and the mint mark. Pay attention also to the denomination. Also pay attention to the grade that was assigned to the coin. And then you can also go up here and you can go to, it says best match. You can choose most recent sales. So that way you have the most recent sales. These are the things that you need to do. And like I said, there's error reference as well. You go to error reference. And you can look up errors and help you identify them. You know, there's just, it's, the, the internet's a wealth of knowledge and you can put your search in here, what you think it might be, a damaged planchet, a planchet flaw, read down through it you know, to help you out a little bit. Now, if you think you might have a really high grade Lincoln Memorial Cent, for instance. I mentioned Lincoln Memorial Cents because I see this a lot. We know there's a double die for 1969S. There's about 30 known and they're extremely rare. But what if you just have what you think is a high grade example? So you come over here and you're looking at 67. 67 in red for a 69S Lincoln Memorial is $475. If you come down here to 1970 red Lincoln Memorial Cent, it's worth 225 If you get the plus, $5,500. 70D, 675 We know there's a small date, but we're looking for the higher grades. So let's say you look at that and you think, well, I want to know, is my coin 67 Well, one way to help yourself out to find that out is to go over to Heritage. And this is Heritage Coin Auctions here. And you're going to be at all rare coins for the moment. So we want to type in, let's say, 1969S, and we want to put MS67. We're going to hit search, close that out, and we're going to go to sold auctions. So here are examples of Mint State 67 coins. This one has been cropped pretty close, so let's take a look at this one. You click on it, click on the image again, and you can come in and you can kind of look at the coin and see what marks are on the coin. This one is not showing us a lot of details, but we can see that there are contact marks here, here, in different areas. One on the one. So let's go back to other images. You can explore every single image of a 67, and you can scroll in, open it up, and take a look. One of the things that you're going to discover, if you look at every single one of these Mint State 67 coins and compare your coin, you're probably going to have a coin at eventually that's going to look something like this, but you're also going to notice that not all these 67s look the same. I have a video about that too. Take a look at that video and kind of get an idea of why that's the case. 
So anyway, that'll help you maybe grade some coins. It's, it's better if you could buy an example of a 67 that's not so expensive as far as a date wise. That way you can compare your coins to it. I'll tell you, if you had to pay two or three hundred dollars to get a 67 just so you can compare it, that would actually save you money because sending off coins can cost you hundreds and thousands if you really get into it deep. So anyways, I hope that uh, this helped you identify your mint errors or helped you know what to do with a coin in case you found a rare variety or a high grade coin. So please like, share, and comment as always. I appreciate everybody's subscriptions. Click that little bell beside the subscribe button and have a great day.